President Trump met with four potential Supreme Court nominees. Roll tape. During the morning, I interviewed and met with four potential justices of our great Supreme Court. Uh, they are outstanding people. They are really incredible people uh, in so many different ways, academically and every other way. Joining us now, Mike Huckabee, former Arkansas governor. Okay, Governor, your thoughts? Uh, President Trump moving quickly. He says he's going to have a, he's going to make a choice by Monday. Well, first of all, Charles, I can confirm that I was not on the list and I was not interviewed. So let's get that out of the way. All that speculation regarding that, nothing to it. Uh, I think what's most fascinating is that people act like that he's rushing. This is a president who, before he was even elected, already put out a list of 25 people, people that had been vetted by the Federalist Society. He has stuck to that list. It's been very clear that he has a criteria for someone to be an originalist, a person who is uh, clear to the text. Uh, when I hear people say, I hope he appoints a conservative, I hope he doesn't. I don't want him to appoint someone who is known as an ideological conservative or liberal. I want him to appoint someone who is true to the Constitution. So he's a constitutionalist or she's a constitutionalist. That's what becomes important. If a person wants to legislate, as this court has done time and again, let them run for Congress. But that's not a role that the court should play. Well. It seems like, uh, even though we know that the list uh, that's been vetted uh, was 25 names, uh, and again, to your point, I think the focus was on, on their uh, adherence to the Constitution and, and not, you know, not the Constitution being a sort of a living, evolving document. As, as the media focuses on five names, one that they seem to be pushing back on, Amy Cohn and Barrett, uh, and, and I'm not sure why that is, but they, it feels like they believe she's the front runner. And now they're really aiming some serious barbs her way. What do you make of that? Well, they're going to be against whoever Donald Trump appoints. I said last week that if he uh, appointed Moses, who walked down from Mount Sinai with two tablets of stone, they would say, no, he's unacceptable. Uh, he's too Jewish for us. Th that's the point. There's never going to be anyone that Donald Trump puts forward that Chuck Schumer and the Democrats are going to say, ah, good choice, we can live with that. Despite that we have a long history of giving presidents, even Barack Obama, the people that he wanted. Right. He got Sotomayor, he got Kagan, uh, Republicans, many of them voted for both of them, even though they didn't probably like them or sure. want them to be the Supreme sure. Court justices. That's how this needs to work. Governor, I got another one for you. Brian Ross uh, reported uh, yesterday uh, leaving ABC. Of course, this is just months after his botched report on President Trump uh, that when that aired. What do you make of it? I would say uh, to Brian Ross, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Uh, the point being that Brian Ross is one of the most, uh, I think, belligerent reporters I ever personally dealt with. I found him to be incredibly uh, unfairly aggressive. He had his story written before he went to the sources to begin to find it. And I think ABC did the right thing by, by splitting with him. Um, I know he won a lot of awards, and maybe there was a time when he was a professional, competent journalist. But in his latter years, uh, he bungled things, and I think it was because of his personal bias. That's not journalism. That's advocacy. And that's why a lot of people have very little confidence in journalism today. Governor Huckabee, uh, happy Fourth of July, and thank you very much. And to you, happy birthday, America. All righty.